Well, good evening. It's the first Wednesday of the new year. Happy New Year to you and to yours. Dr. J. Calvin Tibbs with you. I'm your purpose development coach tonight. And that's why I'm a little dressed up, right? Because it's the first one of the new year, and I think we ought to kind of come in this way. We're super excited. First of all, hello to everybody. Digital hugs to the whole crew. We are excited about moving forward into this new year with some things that are going to bless you and help you, especially as it relates to purpose. We went over quite a bit last year. And if you didn't get those notes or see the video from December, the, the December uh, date just before the new year, I think it was the 30th, uh, you want to get it. You want to watch that one because there's a big summary that can sort of move you down the road pretty quickly. Now, there is always work involved. Don't think that this is just a magic wand in encounter because it's not. But we want you to know that you can do the work. So let's go ahead and pray and open up our session today. Father, we are just thankful that we make no bones about you being the center of why it all works. You're the God of wisdom, the God of understanding, the God of might, the God of grace, the God of forgiveness, the God of second chances. Lord, as these who listen hear, may they hear deep inside the things necessary to move them forward. And we bless you for it. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, so this being the first one, I thought we may as well hit this with a bang. And so I'm going to go to the ultimate reality of how purpose development has its foundational roots. If you want to go to the logo therapy here, you're going to go to Proverbs chapter 8. That's the logo therapy. Please don't be discouraged if you don't trust in Jesus yet and discount all types of information as if it can't be because it's not your religious preference. Just listen. Listen to the details because the scripture have major principles to live by. And Proverbs chapter 8 is one of those places. It's the undergirding of much of what we're going to discuss over the next couple of weeks. So for this week, we're going to deal with, and first of all, I forgot to tell you, like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get over the two 3,000 member mark this year. We're at 1,300 or something like that. Let's just go ahead and push that thing over uh, 3,000 so we can just keep it moving. All right. So like, share, and subscribe. Also know that as an outreach from heaven assigned to the earth, Kingdom Dominion Church uses this arm on purpose, which is the wisdom portion of our ministry, to seek the save and or, or strengthen the saved and love, love on the lost. That's what we do here. If you're saved, we want to strengthen you so that you are not just in the spirit, but also walking in the natural, that is, using the added the attributes that are available to you you with it i mean it's sort of like people pray 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 and sometimes things don't happen it's not god it's the practitioner's issue somewhere and that's why purpose is important to rectify those those ills and, and bring the balance to you so we're going to talk about at the beginning of this year the three big purpose questions and there are three of them that must be answered every day of your life in order for you to verify that you are way beyond a New Year's resolution. You're in a resolution of revolution. How about that? You're in a whole other place when you answer these. Now, you have to answer the questions honestly. You can't pretend. You can't click, check this box, click, check the next box, check, click, check the third box. I'm done. Where's my, if you're a woman looking for a husband, husband. If you're a man looking for a wife, wife. If you're a person looking for more income, where's my money? Nope, doesn't work that way. Seed time and harvest is still real. You have to reap, but you can't reap unless you have sown. And it's the sowing of the word that is the first entry point of hearing. So you're hearing this now. Now there's going to be some homework. Okay, so as we put this all together about these purpose points, the big three purpose questions, you've got to answer these questions. You absolutely have to answer number one, why am I here? You got to answer that question. You have to be honest. You have to take time. And, and listen, why are you in this situation is as much as an answer to the question as any other answer. You, you have to answer, why are you where you are? Not just on the earth. Why are you in that search circumstance or situation? Why are you there? What landed you there? I'll tell you what landed you there. Your words and your actions, they are so powerful that even if you don't like where you are, 
your words and your actions still worked. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So now let's look at it this way. You don't like where you are. Then use what? Ding, ding, correct your words and your actions to keep you moving to where you really want to be. Why are you here? I know perhaps for some of you, folks are saying that. They're asking you that question. What are you doing here? <laughs> like you don't belong. Well, if you don't belong, why are you there? Why are you still where you don't belong? You have to answer that question. Because you know what that question really is a connection to? Your design. You have an intelligent design, not a random design. I don't care what school books try to tell you. You didn't come from apes that were randomly typing and they got a few words right. It's too orderly for it to be that way. Well, my life's not in order. Well, it must be if you can answer the question. If you can say it's not orderly, then there must be some order for you to recognize the difference. So when we're really dealing at a core level, honesty is required if you're going to move and become everything that you are here to become. See, answering that question will solve your time issues. I don't have enough time. No, you got the same amount of time as people who know what to do. Why? Why do they do better? Because they know why they are here. <laughs> They know what's going on as to why it's necessary for them to be in this situation. So whatever your situation is, the question is, why are you here? It's a design question. So the second phase of this is, what is your design? Well, let's put out a few things that you are not designed for that you may find yourself in. You are not designed for confusion. You are not designed for stress. And you are absolutely not designed for drama. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. You are not designed for stress. You are not designed for confusion. You are not designed for drama. And I don't mean drama in the classic sense of how it works, because we really are all in a drama. We have lines, and we are supposed to carry those lines out. But what I am saying is, if your life keeps evolving around the same kinds of conflict, family, cultural, business, employment, if it keeps evolving around that and you get used to that, then you're becoming a product of your environment. And when that occurs, that creates a problem. That creates a major problem. Why? Because you're not actively pursuing why you are here. Are you getting this? See, why you are here is an important question because it connects you to your design. If you know that you're not designed for the job that you are doing, please tell me why you keep working it. Answer, because you have not developed enough trust and why you are really here, to move away from why you think you're here. And that's why you are here. I hope you got that. You are here if you are not in the right place because you believe or don't believe that where you really belong is the true design that belongs to you. And this is how most folks put the reasons for it. Well, I got to make a living. Well, why can't you make a living in the design that you were sent here for. Why can't you do that? Answer, because you haven't answered the question. See, when you really know why you are here, you will gravitate, you will design, here you go, a life. You will design a life that moves you in the direction of question number two. You want to know what question number two is? Well, let's make sure we answer question number one. Why are you here? It's your homework. It's your right now work. If you've not done this, you got to do this right now. Why am I here? What am I here for? What am I doing here? Am I in the right place? Am I in the right relationships? I'm, am I in the right income bracket? Am I in the right neighborhood? Only you, Smokey the Bear says, can prevent forest fires. And if your life is on fire, you might need to move to the coast and get you some water and put out all of this constant stress and drama and confusion, which you were not designed for. So number one, if we're going to move into the strength of purpose in 2021, you have to answer the question, why am I here? All right, let's go to number two. Number two, now that you understand why you are here, is what am I supposed to do? <laughs> now that you're here, what are you supposed to be doing? I mean, you're here. You know now your design. You know what you are supposed to be doing. If you know what you are supposed to be doing, then you will also understand just as a byproduct of succession 
what's next? That is a direction question. Where should you be or what should I be doing? Why am I here? Now that I know that I belong here, why am I here? Well, that once again is a direction question. And I was sharing with some people not long ago about just understanding the year that we are in. We're in the year 5781. The number five is the I. Of course, it's the number for grace. The number seven is a fence. It's the number for completion. The number eight is a plow, which is also the number of new beginnings. And it's also preceding the final number, which is number one. And number one is, of course, the ox. All right, so if you're dealing with the ox or unity, then you're dealing with strength in a field where you plow and you're being watched. Or watch where you plow in the fence that you have strength. Knowing what your design is helps you to know the direction that you should go in. And going in the right direction is the second question's answer. So check it. If you are plowing in the wrong field, how do you know? The fruit or the lack of fruit, the lack of progress, the abundance of stress, the abundance of confusion, the abundance of drama. Just simply look at it. Look at the drama, look at the confusion, and look at the, the stress, and you know you're in the wrong fence. You're in the wrong field. So your plowing is a waste of your time and therefore a waste of your direction. You have to get in the direction where the stress goes away, the drama goes away, and the confusion goes away. That's really how simple it is. Now listen, if you are the cause of it, then you can't blame the environment. So you got to be real honest about that. It, it, does confusion follow you, or does it seem like everywhere you go there's confusion? Huh. Does it seem like there is stress everywhere you go? Hmm. Does it seem like there's drama everywhere you go? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, that's three hums. <laughs> if that's the case, you know what might be the common factor? It might be you. You, you might still not be where you belong. We need some quiet, right? We need some peace and quiet. So if you're not getting peace and quiet, it's probably because you're still not in the wrong direction. You're still in the wrong direction. You get the point? If you're in the wrong direction constantly, and stress and drama and confusion seems to follow you, then you are not in your design and you are going in the wrong direction. It's pretty simple. Why am I here? What am I supposed to be doing? We can at least start with, you are not supposed to be contributing to an atmosphere that's constantly filled with drama, constantly filled with stress, and constantly putting you in a situation where it's like, I don't know what to do, confusion. You're getting this. See, these are very basics. Now, you have to apply the details of it regarding whether it is in this area of business or your passion or that area of your business or passion or relationships. You have to determine what that is. But in the end, it must be done. It flat out must be done. And you can do this. You can answer these three questions because they are important for your 2021. All right, let's keep moving. Number three is can I improve? And of course the answer is yes. So let's rephrase that question and ask it this way. How can I get better? How can I get better at what I do? Let's start with listening. Sometimes people hear but don't listen. And that's the reason why they don't understand. I'll say that again. Some people hear but they don't listen. And that's why they don't understand. Hearing is physical. Eardrums and all the components of the inner ear and the outer ear as well. The little hairs are important too. It's incredible how we have been fashioned and made. But listening also has those fine points, but it mostly, if the fine hairs can be defined in this regard, it's focus, it's attention. Are you paying attention to you? Are you paying attention to your environment? Are you putting two and two together about that final question? Once again, can you improve? And the answer is yes, you can improve. So if you're going to improve, you've got to do something. And let me put it this way. You can. Don't you tell me you can't do this. Don't tell me that you're stuck because they didn't raise you right or your mama left you or your father didn't do things the way he should have. 
My heart goes out to you if all of that is true, but I tell you what, you have an advantage because you have a story. See, your story is your greatest asset because your comeback is based upon where you were and where you're headed. If you know where you're headed, design, come on, direction, and now here, development. Development is your responsibility, and you can do this. Don't tell me you can't do this. Do not tell me you cannot develop. Everybody that can learn can develop. What you have to do is learn, and learning is something that you have to pay attention to. It just doesn't happen. And you know the reason why some people are bored? They're learning the wrong stuff. I told you I should have gotten my kid out of that class. Okay, fine. Then put him in a charter school. But don't, don't, this, don't, don't move beyond, don't move in something that's beyond you. If you can't train him, then put him in a place where he can be or she can be trained. People who are bored are not interested for a reason. I'm not saying it's a valid reason. I'm just saying if you have not found a motivation, a motor, then you haven't found your design, your direction, and therefore anything that anyone gives you, you're misdeveloping or you're underdeveloping because you're in the wrong field. I, I hope that makes sense. You are responsible for developing you. Now, let's just say that you are a former athlete or a former actor or actress. Let's say you are a former educator or educator uh, at the principal level, or just anywhere in that field, and you're no longer doing that. You're no longer uh, in the classroom. You're no, no longer on the field. You're no longer uh, in the office or on the beat. Because, now you got to answer this honestly, if it was your design to begin with, to be in those areas, and you knew it, you were in the right place, you might have got transferred around or moved and promoted, or maybe even demoted, but you know you were still in the right field, because again, 5781 is about seeing plowing in the field where you are strong. That's what it's about. So if you're going to plow in the right area, but that time or season is done, we still have to answer this question of how I can improve, not as an administrator or a teacher or uh, the principal, not as an athlete, a running back, quarterback, point guard, or as a police officer or someone in law enforcement. Because if you've graduated beyond all those things, meaning you are in retirement mode or in a separate career, we got to recognize that improvement is still along the lines of the base model. The base model for all of us has to be defined. For example, you know the kind of person that you are. You know the kind of person you can become. So if your base model is seriousness and let's just say logic, then logic can, can still be expanded. You can expand logic. And guess who you can now help? The people who don't have it. Children, grandchildren, people that you meet along the way, people that you can impart into, people that you can volunteer and assist so that you can keep improving. I'll tell you, I remember this earlier in my career, some years ago, I asked a question about how to remain relevant. And the person said, oh, you will be. You will remain relevant. Well, that was a true statement, but I'm going to tell you how I remained relevant. I got new information. I kept getting new information, things I didn't know. And so I then take that information and I apply that information to the current situation. So old things and new things come together. But if I only have the past as my reference, I'm not going to improve. Please get this. If all you deal with is what you did and there is no balance to that of things you are learning to do, then you're stuck in the past and it's no wonder people are underdeveloped in a season that requires a certain skill set. Now, I'm going to wrap this up with, with this major point because uh, even though this is reasonably short, it, it's really getting to the heart of how your 2021 can be an explosive benefit to you and to your family. We've got to keep learning, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to keep learning. Now, listen, where you get your learning Determine, it will determine whether or not it's valid. I'm not talking about culturally valid, culturally valid. I'm dealing with the validity of the sustainability of truth. If it can't sustain generations, then you might want to stop learning about things that cannot, here you go, outlast time. Well, how do you know that? You need to talk to some people. <laughs> you just need to talk to some people. See, what's in today may not be in tomorrow. And whether it's in or not, is it valid? 
like the substance of male and female. It's somehow taken on 23 different versions. It's not sustainable. You know why? Because the base model is male and female. So if you think you are and you're not, and you think you're not and you are, and you keep moving down these paths, it will be very difficult to, here you go, answer the question of improvement. So we have to find some absolutes in spite of what's being said about absolutes don't matter. They don't work. They're old. Well, it's worked all this while that a man is a man and a woman is a woman. And when it comes down to it, the base model is where you start building. And so it is with your giftings. If your base model is logic, build. If your base model is people, build. But you've got to know your base model in order to improve it. Now, I hope this makes sense. It may not be a sexy statement, but I'm telling you now, if you really know that your word is your principal calling, words, words, then learn other languages. Master the one you as your native tongue. Uh, learn how to put strategies together with words. Learn how to write better than you do. You only get better by doing the thing. Of course, doing it the right way. So if you put these components together, this is the first lens of how you can catapult yourself into 2021. It's work. Don't let anybody tell you that it's not. Will it include lists and things of that nature? Yeah, but mostly it deals with you answering questions. First of all, these first big three questions about why you are here, what you're supposed to be doing, and how you can improve. If you can answer those questions every day, then you'll never become a product of your environment if the environment that you are in is not the environment that adds to your life. No matter what environment you are in, you'll understand why am I here for a second, for a week, for a month, for a year, until the clock runs out. Number two, what are you supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be adding value because I am here. That's my design. That's my, that is my direction. I am directed to add value. And number three, how can I improve? I'm going to learn from this group right here. I'm going to learn. And that way, you're never stuck. You're always on the move. You're always progressing towards the life that fits your design potential. So I hope this helps you. I know it's short. Maybe that's how we're going to start doing 2021, little short bursts that are packed because these are packed with lots of information that when you apply it, it's going to flat out bless your life to the end and you're going to enjoy yourself. So first of all, I want to say thank you for listening. And I want to ask you again to like, share and subscribe this video to get some folks in your life moving beyond depression, beyond stress and fear, beyond confusion and all the drama that goes on sometimes in people's lives because they're not actively engaged in what they have been put here for. Keep answering the question, why you are here? Why are you right there? Why are you in that situation? What are you supposed to be doing? And how can you improve? May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you, be so gracious to you. Lift up the light of his countenance upon you, and may the Lord give you his shalom. Well, given that this is the first of the year, it's a great place to sow. Why? Because this blessed you. So if it blessed you, do not be afraid to say, thank you. That was awesome or wonderful. And you can go to katychurch.org as a part of that giving and click on the Give tab. Let the drop down tab come and uh, give to your heart's content and give with with a purpose. Give with the understanding that my gift is connecting me to why I am here, what I'm supposed to be doing and how I can improve. Connect the dots with your giving and just believe that that giving is connected with an increase, an advent of more of the truth about you. And that's going to be fantastic. And of course, it will bless our ministry here. If you'd like to know more about what we're doing, you can go to katychurch.org. In fact, that's where you give. At the same place, you can go to the events tab and you'll find out all kinds of things that are going on with our outreach from heaven, we call it, assigned to the earth. And we are glad to be here and we want to serve you in that capacity. If you want to know the king who created all of this, 
His name is Jesus. It's very simple. All you have to do is say and believe. What, do you, well, what, what am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, I need help. I need a savior. I need somebody to get me out of here, beyond here, and help me while I'm here and come into my heart. Simple, simple belief, simple statement. When that happens, we want to communicate with you. When you do that, we want you to text the word LIFE to 770-308-8864. Again, that's 770-308-8864, and we'll start communicating with you. If you want an online time family to connect with, we're here on Wednesdays, but again, at katychurch.org, you can see all the other times that we are here together. And if you'd like for us to communicate with you a little bit more and tell you when things are, you can subscribe, but you can also text the word WELCOME to the same number, 770-308-8864, and we'll start communicating with you as well. Well, I hope that this helped you and hope everything is going well for you at the beginning of the year. If it's not, ask the question and answer it. Why am I here? What am I supposed to do? How can I improve? When you start walking in that design, in that direction, and in those developmental stages, your life will flat out change because you'll be changing not only your life, but the lives of others. Well, God bless you. See you the next time we get together. Bye.